So Rebecca, <laughs> in your career, and this is absolutely phenomenal, you had six iron distance wins, you had seven second place finishes, you had over 30 podium finishes, and now still hold on to the sixth fastest time in iron distance history. That to me sounds like a dream career for anyone. And I know that you are one of the most humble athletes I've ever met. But tell me about just when you look back at your career, do you understand just how phenomenal those results are? And what do you want to be remembered by the most? There's a place I go to when no one knows me It's not lonely, it's a necessary thing It's a place I made up, find out what I made up The nights I stayed up, counting stars and fighting sleep yeah, I think as an athlete, often we forget how important those wins are. And sometimes it's the coach just getting you back on the horse for the next race. Brett was very like that and not really being able to enjoy the moment. And you cross the line, you think about the next race. And I, I think um, towards the end of my career, I started to really enjoy those wins more because I knew I was coming towards the end. But when I look back, I looked at Wikipedia recently because I had no idea how many podiums I had. And I ended up stopping at, I think, 29 or 30 with full and half iron distance which is a top three I don't I don't count anything after a top three of podium but um, I was a little bit shocked and I sort of thought yeah that's something to be really proud of because um, a lot of girls have been retiring lately and um, in my era and so there's a new wave moving through with the Ellie Salt houses and the other girls coming through and I think um, all of us the achievements we've had we need to stop and remember just how incredible they really were and it wasn't really until I looked at it on paper that I thought that's that's pretty awesome I it's definitely something that I've never really taken the time to be proud of, so it does, it makes me feel really proud. Rebecca Keats, who is on a roll, I think you're going to have a great race here, what are you thinking? Yeah, it's finally, uh, I feel honoured to finally have an interview with you. I said to Rennie, you know you haven't made it until you've had an interview with Bob, so <laughs> hopefully wow. this, is a, this is a good omen, I hope. Joining me now, uh, last year's sixth place uh, winner here at the Ford Ironman World Championship. Now, Beck, uh, Rebecca Kirk from Australia, that is. So let it wash over me. I'm ready to lose my feet. Take me off to the place where one reveals life's mystery. Steady on down the line. Lose every sense of time. Take it all in and wake up that small part of me Day to day I'm blind to see and find how far to go Everybody got the reason Now one of the highlights that your fans would remember best is when you gave Chrissy Wellington your CO2 cartridge. She'd been on the side of the road for quite a while and nobody was helping her. And then you came by and you gave her your last cartridge. Tell us mm. about that because it, I think a lot of people talk about that as one of the most incredible uh, shows of sportsmanship our sport has ever seen. So tell us what happened on that day. Yeah, people say to me, did you even think twice about it? And I was like, no, I just thought, oh my God, the poor thing, like I'm going to give it to her. It would, it would have been the same no matter who it was. I didn't train with her at the time and people thought I did, but I didn't really even know her. Um, and I'd do the same thing again if I if I had if I had come up to, had to make that decision. But I think when I think about it, I think it came from being a twin. I always had to share, and my sister and I always shared everything. And we were brought to we were brought up to to share and be kind and be grateful and be thankful. And I think I just it was something I'm a, a very caring and very giving person, and I didn't even think twice. So my next chapter um, that I really want to talk about is I've been coaching triathlon now for quite a few years. Um, I was very thankful to be working with um, my amazing wife and um, head coach of Serious Athletes, Siri Lindley. We created um, our awesome um, Team Serious Tri Club just this year. Um, although I've been doing a lot of coaching um, with age groupers in the past, um, it's something that we've really worked on, and we really want to help give back to this sport that's just given us so much. And we're just so grateful, and we've we've made it so that everybody can be included. Um, we have everywhere from just a membership to one-on-one -on -one coaching, and I really feel really passionate about, and I actually really love it, and enjoy it a lot more than I thought I would. So that's definitely. Um, 
um, part of my next chapter. But the big reason that um, Siri and I really want financial freedom is it's not about us. It's not about driving nice cars. It's not about having nice houses, although thankfully with the incredible worth I think we've had, we've been able to provide that for ourselves. But ideally, um, we've always had a love for, for animals, specifically dogs and horses. And um, we want to have financial freedom to be able to have a big rescue ranch. We have a mini one right now. We have, I don't know if you can see her, but we have our two horses, three dogs and a cat. They're all rescues. We're about to rescue another one. But our big dream is to, uh, as Siri and I, I've always loved animals so much, is to save uh, horses from dire circumstances, from death row, dogs from euthanasia. And I think if we can create enough financial freedom through our coaching and our tri club, be able to um, invest in that that's really where we're going to be um, heading the next couple of years and trying to save as many animals as we can so uh, stay tuned and um, keep following me uh, for, for future developments uh, believe ranch and rescue.org is our website for our rescue ranch and also our team series tri club which is we can be found on wwwsiri lillycom or our team series tri club Facebook page or our believe ranch and rescue Facebook page Thank you.